What's up, y'all? Uh, coming to you today because my buddy David asked me to shoot a parts video how I put this stuff on my AR for my video last night. So what I did was I disassembled my uh, my bolt uh, release extender. All right, my bolt latch extender, whatever you call it, doesn't matter. Call it what you want. You know what it's called if you know know what you're looking for. But this is just to release the bolt, it's an extender that goes through the trigger guard that allows you to release the bolt with your trigger finger if you're right hand shooter. But for left handed use, um, obviously we don't want to turn the rifle over to have to hit the uh, bolt release. So we use this and we press it with our thumb or our finger once we have inserted the magazine. Now, next part is my Troy Industries uh, Ambidextrous magazine release i'm gonna show how to install this and what i did so what i did i took all the parts off my gun and what i'm gonna do now is show you guys how to put it back on it's gonna be a real quick video uh it's because it's just that simple okay this is how the parts are gonna come with the bolt latch extender um a little back plate is gonna come with it and some screws all right and some other ones are different but for the main most part all of them come with back plates and uh, screws that you can screw in on the front side, okay? All right, and the next thing I want to show you guys is that I moved my um, AFG2 from Magpul, and I went with this, uh, it's called an RV, RVG, but it's just a, you know, basic stock holder, whatever you want to call it. Again, I'm tired, just got out of class, drove an hour to class and back, so... Um, don't mind me with the name of this stuff. But, like I said, I changed it from here because I didn't like the way this shot for me after a while. This right here helps me to hold the rifle a whole lot better. So, from me to you, here's a gift. The first person that says they want this, uh, it'll fit ARs, shotguns, whatever you want it to fit. Um, it'll fit it. Alright. Let me see. I know your little arms are getting tired. Alright. Um, so, if you want this, you can have it. For free first person to comment and say they want it uh comment first and then send me your address i'm sending to you everybody that's waiting on their safety trainers i am going to try to send those tomorrow i have been super busy so i'm gonna try to drop those in the mailbox tomorrow but uh here we go all right guys i cut the camera off by mistake we're gonna get started here all right first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and uh do the ambidextrous mag release and the reason i'm doing this first is because you have to do this first before you can put on the um, extended um, bolt release. All right. All right. So what I do here is I use my new one and I use the screw part to press in on the magazine release. When you press in on that, it's gonna hold your uh, magazine release from the opposite side up in place. All you gonna do is spin this thing counterclockwise until it totally unscrews okay once it does that you can either hold the pressure on your magazine release or let it fall all right as you can see the parts in my hand this is the the normal uh release here all right once the normal release is out you're gonna have to drop that spring back into the hole on this side and put you know of course your little grooves face outward put those back in and yet again apply pressure now i'm going to switch out and take my old magazine magazine release and use that to apply pressure this time i'm gonna turn it over okay and i'm gonna start screwing in uh oh <laughs> a little bit harder sometime with the pressure i'm trying to also keep it on camera good but anyhow get that thing down the hole press the pressure through there and then what I, you can also use your fingernail, which is what I'm about to do now. Just utilize your fingernail. All right. Can you get this, Robin? Mm -hmm. Right here. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your new one. All right. Put it down in the hole. Find the catch. Let it catch and spin it on there. Spin it until it catches. You'll feel it start to catch and screw. You can pull up on it to see. All right. Like mine's not catching yet because I got to rearrange my hand.
Hard to do on camera. I'm trying to make sure I stay out of the camera's view while doing this at the same time. A lot easier when you can look at it and do everything right. All right, so I press that through. All I'm doing is take my Troy now. Ah, man. All right, I'll just do it this way. Right here. You can get it all on camera, Ruby. I got my daughter doing my camera work for me. Press that through the hole. Boop. Take your other one and just stick it in the hole. Uh-oh. Little part, just stay up there. Just stay up there. Let me find it. While I'm looking for this thing, guys, and my daughter is keeping the camera on point, um, you see how difficult it can be. It didn't give me as much trouble last night when I first installed it, but that's all right. All right, here we go. Get this thing in here. Utilizing just hand pressure. Oh, come on, guy. All right. Put the Troy on this side. Find that hole. There we go. I can kind of let it... Oh. <laughs> My daughter's laughing at me. Oh. My hand's been shooting tasers all day. Switching mags in and out. Cartridges in and out. All right, let me get it going. All right, so once you get that going, just keep it going clockwise this time until it's at a comfortable position for you, what you feel is uh, deep enough. All right, when I say deep enough, meaning in here it has to be able to catch your magazine. So when I insert my magazine, it needs to be able to catch it and hold it tight until I release it. So I release it. So. I'm checking on this side too to make sure I can press it through and press it through on this side, which is perfect. And as you notice, mine has a little damage on here because last night um, I had to put a little love and care on it um, to get this magazine released to move smooth, smoothly through. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put on the extended bolt release lever. Okay, right now you have your bolt release here which is just a little small two-part piece, all right? What you're going to do is simply, you can go ahead, go ahead and set your screws, or you can just sit your back plate underneath your bolt latch here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just slide mine on top, I mean behind it, I'm sorry, in between the two, if you can see that. Just slide it in. Come on, screws. Everything acting up on all right, slide it on there just like that. Make sure it's all the way around your bolt latch release. You're going to take your first tool with your screwdriver and just screw the screws all the way down. Don't tighten them all the way first. You want to go ahead and get them going hand tight, and then we'll um, tighten them all the way down. But you want to make sure they're tight, even evenly tight first, and then you can go ahead and screw them all the way down. Now, if you want to keep this permanent, um, two options that you have. You can put some Loctite on there, or you can go into your girlfriend's cabinet or your wife or whoever and get some clear fingernail polish and put it on the end of these screws. All right, and that's it. All right, it's just that simple. Now, one thing I did not take off because I didn't feel like taking it apart. And you see, guys, I did this all without taking my gun apart. Is this safe? Absolutely. There's no bullets in the gun. All right. Could you do it a lot easier without all this crap on here? Probably, all right. But this was the quick, fast, and a hurry way um, of showing guys how to do it. Very in simple install. All right. Now, ambidextrous safety, which is here. The way you would take this one on and off, you have to take all the top receiver off and everything. All right, the upper receiver, and then you have to pull out your old one by unscrewing a screw here. Okay. Uh, I don't even remember how my basic one came. My first came off, but I. Uh, um, it was some type of screw or something that went into um, both sides and you just popped it out Okay, once you had all the stuff removed and simply pushing it back in and screwing it tight here as you can see This is a screw right here, which lets it go to safety or or 
um, firing. But that's it, uh, Dave. I hope you got that, man. I have one that I bought extra by mistake. I clicked two items on Amazon. If somebody wants it, I will sell it to you at my cost. I do take credit card um, if you want it. All right. You guys be blessed. Have a good one. And I hope that was uh, informative enough for you to be able to do it. Peace out.